hello and welcome to my channel in today's video I'll be explaining to you and also demonstrating how to deploy the AGM-88 HARM missile uh, in its three different modes PB or pre-briefed mode TOO or target of opportunity mode uh, and SP or self-protect mode let's go ahead and start by talking about the AGM-88 missile and giving you some information before we go into DCS and start shooting some missiles. So the AGM-88 is a tactical air-to-surface anti-radiation missile. It's designed to home in on electronic radiation coming from surface-to-air radar systems, so basically SAM sites. It has a range of 60 nautical miles or more, and it has a maximum speed of 1,420 miles per hour, and it carries a 66 kilogram explosive warhead okay let's talk a little bit uh, first about the three different modes that we will be demonstrating in this video uh, the first mode is called the pre-brief mode and it's a lock on after launch mode which means when i launch the missile it's not locked on to any targets on the ground or any sam sites it's going to acquire the lock after i launch it and it knows which target to lock because I've pre-configured the missile with a code. And this code uh, basically depicts a very specific radar. And after the missile is launched, it's going to scan for radars uh, specific to that code that are pre-configured in the missile. Now, in this mode, the missile is used for standoff maximum range attacks on emitters, again, of known type and location. This is the basic mode used by dedicated defense suppression aircraft, uh, seed aircraft. Uh, the aircraft's emitter locating system determines the identity and position of the target, which are downloaded to the missile as we uh, explained before. The launch aircraft will then toss the missile to impart the best possible range. The missile flies on its inertial guidance until it, it acquires the target and then homes to impact. Uh, this mode is essentially an offensive mode and is most commonly used when taking down integrated air defense system. The second mode is called self-protect mode. And it's a short to medium range mode used defensively to engage targets uh, within 360 degrees of the launched aircraft. In self-protect mode, the harm is slave to the aircraft's RWR or radar warning receiver and it's given a prioritized list of threats, the highest priority threat will be engaged after the missile launches. The third mode is called TOO, or Target of Opportunity Mode, and it's also known as Harm as Sensor, or even Direct Attack Mode, and it's a lock-on before launch mode. So we do the lock on the target before we launch. And in this mode, the missile receiver is used uh, before the launch to acquire the target and it is typically used as an offensive mode by non-dedicated strike aircraft to suppress emitters. Let's go ahead now and jump into DCS and I will basically explain the scenarios in which I will be deploying uh, the missile and I'll also be showing you how to do that from the cockpit. Okay, so I am in the DCS mission editor and I'm going to start by demonstrating to you how to deploy the HARM or the AGM-88 HARM in SP mode or self-protect mode. Uh, as you can see my airplane here, it's the blue icon with the letter F. I'm going to be uh, flying across this blue line in between two SAM sites. Uh, they're called SA-6. Uh, each site comprises two vehicles, a search and track radar, and a launcher. Let me zoom into one of the sites to show you what I'm talking about. So those are the two vehicles. This one over here is the STR or search and track radar, as you can see, SA6 Cub, STR. And the second vehicle here is the launcher. And this is how they look like. This is the launcher. It can take up to three missiles on the rack. And then this is the search and track radar. Okay, so let's jump into the cockpit and deploy the harm in SP mode.
Okay, so I'm gonna start by selecting master air to ground on mode and making sure that my arm select switch is on. I'm gonna put my radar warning receiver on the right DDI and I'm gonna select harm as my weapon of choice. I'm gonna make sure that SP or self protect is boxed and I'm gonna also make sure that harm override is boxed. And as you can see, I've selected the harm on station eight. So the HUD symbology changes and as you can see uh, on the HUD, both SA6 sites are scanning me and as you can see the number six with direction lines telling me the direction of both sites and one of the sites is boxed which means the plane and the missile has automatically determined the target of the highest threat and locked it and downloaded this data to the harm for its seeker to take over and, and track the target. Now. Uh, I can select which site I want to basically fire at by selecting uh, the F by using the FOV select button. So as you can see, I can switch between the left and the right sites by pressing the FOV select button. I want to start by targeting the right uh, the, the site on the right hand side. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to basically press the weapon release button to release the harm on the site selected harm so the missile is on its way towards the site on the right i want to also shoot at the site on the left so i'm going to press the fov select button again and as you can see now the left site is locked and the missile selected is in station two which is on my left hand side i'm going to press the weapon release button and harm as you can see very very simple method of deploying the harms and it's a defensive method used to track targets that are actually searching and tracking for you. Let's move on now to the next deployment method. I am in DCS mission editor and this time I will be I will be deploying the AGM-88 Harm in the TOO mode or target of opportunity mode. I'm flying exactly the same setup as you can see here. Uh, the only difference is that I'm going to be deploying the missile in TOO mode. Let's go ahead and jump into the cockpit. Okay, again, master air to ground mode, master arm select switch on. I'm going to select the harm as my weapon and I'm going to box the TOO mode here. And I'm going to make sure that the harm override mode is unboxed. So this is what the harm sensor sees. And as you can see, the SA6 site on the right has started scanning me and it was picked up by the harm sensor. Now in a while, the other side will also start scanning me and it's going to be picked up by the sensor, by the harm sensor. And you can see it now here. So the site on the left hand side has scanned me and the harm sensor can see it. And now it's up to me to decide which site I want to target and fire at. And the, the difference in symbology in the HUD is that now I can see on the HUD the location on the ground of the sites. And as I cycle between the sites using the FOV select button, you can see that I can see where that location is or where that, where that site is on the ground. So one is on my right hand side and the other is on my left hand side. Let's say I want to target the site on my left hand side. I'm going to basically select it using the FOV select button and then I'm going to select the harm sensor as my sensor of interest and I'm going to hand over tracking and targeting this site to the harm sensor by select by pressing the cage button like this and as you can see now the harm sensor is focused only on this target it has removed the other sa6 site from the display and you can see h off or hand off uh, text above the sa6 box site and all that i need to do now is basically press the weapon release button and harm after I uh, release uh, the missile, the second missile on, on the rack starts to scan again. And as you can see, it picked up the other side. I'm going to select the other side. I'm going to hand over uh, targeting to that uh, harm sensor like this. 
and same thing applies I'm gonna uh, navigate a little bit to the right and then I'm gonna fire the missile Harm. so this was the TOO mode now let's move to the last mode which is uh, PB or pre-brief mode okay back in the mission editor for one final time to demonstrate deployment of the harm in PB or pre-brief mode so in this scenario I'll be flying straight towards a search radar it's an SA-10 search radar uh, and I'll be flying as you can see here towards waypoint 1 waypoint 1 is located or placed very close to this search radar <clears throat> so remember waypoint 1 because we're gonna use that as we are trying to deploy uh, the missile so the way this deployment works is uh, the missile is launched before it obtains any lock on any target uh, I simply tell it that fly towards waypoint 1 or waypoint 2 or waypoint 3 so it's gonna launch and fly towards that specific waypoint and before I launch the missile I'm gonna configure in it a specific code this code is specific to a certain uh, radar it has the signature of that radar so as the weapon is flying towards that specific waypoint it is searching for radiation or emissions radar emissions from that specific radar once that radar switches on and starts sending uh, radar waves it's gonna lock to it and fly towards it so let's go ahead and start and I'm gonna jump into the cockpit okay again I'm gonna be flying straight I'm gonna put my battle altimeter on and I'm gonna press master air to ground mode on master arm select on i'm going to select the harm i'm going to box the pb mode and i'm going to deselect harm override i'm going to put my radar warning receiver on the right ddi and i can see the symbol here bb bb is the symbol for that specific radar and let me pause here and show you this document that lists all the codes for the radars so this is the document that lists the harm codes for all the radars and as you can see the BB code here is for an SA-10 Big Bird SR search radar and the code is 104 this is the code that I need to put in the harm missile before I launch it and once I put the code and launch this missile towards waypoint 1 it's gonna fly towards that waypoint and look for this specific search radar to switch on and start emitting radar waves and when it does that it's gonna lock to it and basically um, you know fly at it to destroy it let me switch back to DCS is you okay so what I'm gonna do is I've selected the harm again in PB mode I deselected harm override I'm gonna click on UFC or upfront controls I'm gonna click on target and I'm gonna punch in the code or oh, what was the code again let me check so for the BB it was 104 so I'm gonna punch in 104 and enter so and as you can see target 104 is now updated here and I'm gonna go to my HSI to look at the waypoints I'm gonna select waypoint navigation then waypoint 1 and then I'm gonna select this button which is weapon designate I'm basically telling the aircraft or the, the my targeting system to designate waypoint one as the target now the missile as you can see the hot symbology has changed and it shows here in front of me my waypoint one as a target and the harm is ready to be launched towards waypoint one and the code is punched in and it shows here that I have 200 uh, 2 minutes and 17 seconds if I launch uh, basically two minutes and 17 seconds to target and after I launch my missile this second you know timer here will change and it's gonna be the missiles time to target 
Now deploying the missile is a little bit different here because I need either to loft the missile myself or the missile will loft itself. For the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna press harm here in the pull up mode, which means the missile will loft itself. Obviously, if the missile is going to loft, it's gonna climb up and then dive down. So it's gonna use its energy and I'm gonna lose basically, you know, uh, some of the missile range. And to do that in, uh, in harm pull up mode, I need to align my velocity, set, uh, velocity vector with those two chevrons and then uh, basically press the weapon release button. I'm going to do that by basically pitching up and when my velocity vector aligns with the chevrons, I'm going to press pickle and the harm is on its way. I'm going to deploy a second missile now on the same site but this time I'm going to basically lofting the missile myself by clicking on AC or aircraft loft. Now in this mode, I need to climb up. So I'm going to go after burner and I'm going to climb up until my velocity vector, which is here. It basically overlaps with this horizontal line. Only then basically I can release the missile. So let me do that right now. I'm going to go full after burner. And I'm gonna basically pull up until my velocity vector aligns with the horizontal line and then harm and the harm is on its way and as you can see it's climbing up and then it's gonna dive towards its target those are basically the, the two loft modes either uh, aircraft loft or harm loft again with the aircraft loft you save some of the missiles energy because you're using the aircraft energy to push the missile up so the missile can go further in range and in the harm loft mode you lose a little bit of range because the missile will be using its own rocket engine to basically loft itself up so those are basically the three deployment modes uh, i hope this information was useful and beneficial and interesting to you if you've liked this video please do click on the like and subscribe button this is going to help the channel a lot. Thank you again for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.